So, after having posted my video on using the Jack Audio Connection Kit with uh, Ableton, I was asked if it was possible to um, use Ableton in uh, Jack and uh, Tractor together. Now, I'm not a DJ, so I don't use Tractor, um, and I've never used it before. So, I decided to uh, check it out, download Tractor, and see what the possibilities uh, are. And it turns out that with a bit of work, you can pretty much do anything you want. Before we can do anything, we have to make sure that uh, Ableton Live and Tractor both work with uh, Jack. So I have Jack running with a, a basic setup, a default setup. And as I explained in my um, previous video on Jack Audio, you have to make sure that all the clients that will use Jack Audio, they need to be run as administrator. Uh, over here, run this program as administrator. That needs to be enabled. Same thing for Tractor. Make sure this box is ticked. In Ableton Live, go to Preferences, Audio, make sure Jack Router is selected as the audio device. And the same thing in Tractor, go to File, Audio Setup, make sure the audio device is set to Jack Router ASIO, not Jack Audio Device Jack. That's not good. Use this one. The same thing down here. Select Jack Router Audio. Click Close. If we now have a look at the Jack Audio Connect window, you should see Live and Tractor. And you should also see that the outputs are sent to the system, which are my uh, speakers, from both Tractor and Live. Now the first thing I'd like to do is send the tractor output into Ableton, but Ableton doesn't show up here. That is because I have disabled my inputs. So go into Preferences, Audio, click on Input Config. As you can see I have nothing enabled. I'll just enable 1, 2 stereo and 3, 4 stereo and then click on OK. Close this, go back to the Jack Audio connection and as you can see now Live is there. The connection kit has already made some automatic connections for me. I'm just gonna disconnect all. Yep. And I'm gonna grab tractor and drop it on live. Bam. Then grab live and drop it on my system output, my speakers. Yeah, sometimes the connections don't show up. If you hit refresh, they should be there. There you go. So live is now going to my system speakers and Tractor is now going into live. As you see, there's only two outputs here. We'll change that in a minute, but we'll go with that for now. Or better yet, let me show you why that is. If you go into Tractor, Audio Setup, then the output routing is set to internal, and all the decks, so A, B, C and D, are all sent to the master output and the master output is what shows up here. So this is like a very basic minimum setup and I'll just wanna test this and see if it works. And for this we need to go into Ableton Live. I have a default document here. Click on the I have an audio channel there, so click on the I.O. and the audio from needs to be external 1, 2 and click on the monitor in. So the 1, 2 here corresponds to the 1 and 2 here. Meaning that if I now play some audio in Tractor, it will show up in Ableton. And because uh, the master 
output from Tractor is sent to Ableton, it doesn't matter which uh, deck I play, they should always show up in uh, Ableton. <laughs> Okay, so that's the basics. Now let's move on to the next step and try and send deck A and deck B to separate outputs. We do that going into output routing. Like I showed earlier, it's set to internal, switch to external. Now it sends output deck A to output 1 and 2, output deck B send to 3 and 4 and then close now go back to the connections the jack audio connections you now see that instead of two outputs I have four of them I'm gonna do the same as before just disconnect everything mm. okay there's still a connection remaining just select both of them, so tractor system, disconnect, there we go, done. Now, tractor to live, it now makes four connections, and live to my system output, like that. So this time, from tractor, the out 1 and 2 is deck A, and 3 and 4 is deck B. Uh, previously, the out 1 and 2 was the master. Now go into Ableton Live, remove the MIDI and duplicate the audio channel and select 3-4 from the audio from. And let me quickly rename these deck A, deck B, okay and Let's see if this works. So now deck A will go to the track A in Ableton. Deck B should go to uh, deck B in Ableton. Oops, sorry, the recording got cut off. But anyways, everything went as expected, deck A going to the first track in Ableton and deck B going to the second uh, track. And now with this setup you can enable the crossfader in Ableton. So click on the little X here at the bottom, then select A for deck A, B for deck B, and you can now use this crossfader. Uh, left is going to be deck A, um, right is gonna be deck B. So let's try that out in tractor. Just gonna run both of them at the same time and fade between them in Ableton. I'm about to hit the 10 minute mark on this video so I'm gonna round this up but I'll be doing one or maybe two more videos about different setups that you can do with um, Ableton and Tractor and uh, the Jack audio connection kit. One of them will be about synchronizing both uh, Ableton and Tractor and I'll do another one about sending audio from Ableton into Tractor so the reverse of what uh, I've been doing in this video. But for now, uh, thanks for watching.